What is up, everybody? It is getting crazy out in these streets. But there is some exciting news I want to share with you guys. This candle publishing thing is off the chain, and you should get in. I'm going to show you why. Let's go. What is up, everybody? My name is Troy Horn, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, leaving a comment. I want to get straight to it this time because I just have to say for you guys, this is one of the craziest times I've ever seen in my entire life. People are, I'm just going to get real, people are really stressed out right now. And for me, I was like, you know, how can I help people? How can I, you know, serve you guys in this time of just really panic and freak out? Let me just explain to you guys something that was kind of just given to me as a gift during this whole time. And that is... I don't ever in my life want my family, myself, the people around me to be dependent on anything that we don't control 100%. Now, I know that KDP is something that we control 100%. However, having to depend on something outside of myself is like nothing I ever want to do ever, ever again. And KDP, not only KDP, but other like online publishing platforms are a way for you to kind of for lack of a better word, get off of the grid of depending on basically someone else to provide for your household or for your family or for yourself. We have been challenged right now to really take a look at what we're doing and try to find new ways to sustain ourselves, to become self-sufficient. And let me just show you guys right now, KDP is one of the best things. I looked into drop shipping. You know, I even ordered some things for drop shipping. But here's the thing. Drop shipping depends on someone else in a different market. And, you know, for instance, right now, they're shutting down all, not shutting down all of them, but a lot of things that are coming overseas are, you know, having trouble getting in. Uh, people aren't able to send them because, uh, you know, the, the coronavirus is happening in their country. It's like there's a whole thing of, of, of exchange that sometimes breaks down when you have to depend on someone else to either ship a physical product or any of that stuff. This is what I've been seeing on social media right now, okay? Basically, do you have any books that you could suggest? Do you have any podcasts that you could suggest? Do you have any basically digital products that I can download, that I can either find happiness from, find entertainment from, learn from, that don't involve me actually getting a physical product? Let me tell you right now, if you are not looking into KDP I don't, I don't even understand why. If you're not looking into some kind of digital product that you can create as a creator and provide a service to people, I, I don't know what you're doing because right now it's like the, the world is screaming that you need to become more digital. You need to provide things to people that they can download without having to worry about getting sick or having in contact or whatever. I'm going to give you right now one of the hottest niches I found. It's like, you know, I was going to show you guys how to find this. I'm still going to show you guys how to find niches in KDP. But I'm doing something a little different than most people on KDP. And I know that's going to work because everything is going to ACX or going to um, audiobooks right now. And what I'm going to show you right now is one of the hottest niches that I, I didn't even know if I wanted to share. Because I was like, you know, hey, you know, this is something pretty darn cool that you found. You know, maybe this is something you should just kind of work on and then tell people about something else. But because of the, the nature of the, the world that we're in right now, I was like, look. One, I want to show you guys that there's plenty for everyone. One, with the digital realm, there's plenty for everyone. None of us can serve all the niches. There are more niches out there. And that's what I'm, what I'm saying. It's like, I can always find more niches and so can you. But here's the thing. I want you to get past the, the, the uh, scarcity mindset that you have to, you know, hoard things or keep things to yourself because in the digital world, you don't have to do that. In the digital world, there's enough for everyone and we can serve each other without endangering each other. And this is a great way to support your family. Let me show you guys right now. Let's go to the computer now that I'm on my soapbox and show you guys one niche that I found that is absolutely bananas and I can't believe it's still open. I'm actually going to go after it. You should go after it. Everyone should go after it. And then we should go after finding other niches because there's plenty for everyone. We look to serve people in ways that don't, you know, in the new economy, basically. It's time to get some new economy stuff going on. And here's a niche you can start with that I'm going to share with you right now. All right, let's go into the computer. So this is the niche. I mean, it's right there. First time dad. Okay. This, this Now, the way, I, the way I found this was, you know, here, let me show you guys how you're going to find your own niches so you don't have to depend on the one that I find. Okay. Whatever your topic is, if you type in, you see how it's auto-populating right now on there? 
other niches are first time manager, first time dad books, first time dad, first time mom books, first time mom, first time landlord, first time parents. All those things are listed right there. Those are things that are auto suggested. Now, the reason why they are auto suggested is because people are already searching these and Amazon is already trying to fill the search request based on what the actual like high number of searches are. Now, let me show you this now. First time dad is the one I'm going to show you guys right now, which is pretty amazing. And you can find anything that you want to look for. Like, for instance, say, I don't know, first time underwater basket weaver or first time whatever, you know, <laughs> it's like whatever you're interested in, start doing these searches on Amazon and let it populate for you. And you can find these niches by yourself. Now, here's one other thing you have to look into. You're going to need a plugin called DS Amazon Quick View. And the reason why you need that is because it's going to show you, as you can, as you guys can see right now, I'm pretty excited about this, um, the um, actual, uh, what's it called? The BSR or the best seller rank. So that shows you how many or where it ranks on the number of books, you know, that, that are being sold in that category. Okay. So these are ridiculous BSRs. Now, the thing that most people say is like, you see over there where it says 10,000 results, that means they'll say, don't go after this niche because you're, you're, um, you know, competing against 10,000 other, um, publishers, which is a valid thing. But what I'm about to show you guys in a few minutes is going to make you go, holy crap, because that's what it did to me. Okay. Anyways. So back to the niche, which is pretty much on fire, 10,000 search results. That means there are 10,000 books that people are looking for. Now, what you want to do is when you're looking at these books that you're going to write in your niche, Basically, in the future, you might want to look at for niches that have, you know, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 in that little mark right there, because that's an easier way for you to break in when you're first getting started. But here's the thing that people aren't doing that you're going to be doing after this, okay? First, let me show you what these BSRs mean, okay? First, when you get to these pages, you want to scroll down when you have a DS Amazon Quick View installed, and you're going to see the little um, BSRs, okay? You don't want a BSR to be any higher then from what I understand, like 20 to 30, actually, I'm sorry, 100,000 is where you want to kind of cap it out, right? These BSRs right here, ladies and gentlemen, are stupid low. I'm going to show you what I mean here. 855, 85, so that's pushing it right there. First time dad, 85,000. Uh, 3,000 data is 1,000, Jimmy Fallon. So that's kind of like, you know, that's a, um, uh, what's it called, an influencer, so that you can't really count that one. The expectant father, that's not an influencer. Be prepared about uh, being a first-time dad. Dude, you're going to be a dad, 10,000. Look at these BSRs here. Absolutely, ridiculously low. Now, this one that sneaks in at 230, that's sponsored, though. So that means it's not actually just automatically filling up. That's some, Someone's paying for an ad to be on that page. So you don't really count that one. 1,000, 1,900, or 19,000, sorry. 1,000, 60,000. This one's not a, um, this one's not a, uh, some monster ones, so that one kind of factors in. But look at these. I'm going to show you guys really quick. I mean, these are all the way down the first page of this thing. The BSRs are under 10,000. This is like a stupid hot niche. I'm like, it's like ridiculous. And, and I mean, it's just stupid. Like, I know the competition is high, but the the actual amount of people buying this is just super dumb. Now, I'm going to show you something that. Um, actually, I'm going to wait. Before, let me explain to you guys what that means. So, there's another plugin called. I'm giving you guys a crazy value right now. There's another plugin called um, Kindle, at Kindlepreneur called the Kindle um, Bestseller Rank Calculator. This thing is like a huge tool, okay? It's, like, it's, like, it's really great for you guys to use. So what you want to do is go over here. Let's just say 850, 855 in books. Basically, what this is going to do is show you how many books he's selling or she's selling per, um, per day, I believe it is. Discover how many Kindle and author is selling by entering. Okay, so 855 is the bestseller rank. We're going to go to books because that's where it is. And we're going to click here. It's going to tell us they are selling 78 books a day. 78 books. Now, let's just do the quick math. Quick maths. Uh, where's my... Well, anyways, let's just say you're selling... You're making $3 off of that, you know, $3 every day. That's $240 roughly every day you're making from that book, one book that they're making from that one book. And they're making way more than $3. Let's just say we go to the low ones, okay? The guys, this is what I'm talking about. And they are serving these people without you know, having any kind of interaction. They're running ads, which is something else we'll talk about later. Also to get some um, information or some uh, <clears throat> attention to their book. But let's go to um, this one down here. The Expectant Father, which is not an influencer. It's just you know, someone who wrote a book who um, is about the new father, right? 
3,546. Let's try again. In books is 3,546. Click there. 28 books a day. At $3 a day, let's just say that's 90 to 100 bucks a day. Just in books. We haven't talked about the e-books. We haven't talked about what I'm going to tell you about in a few minutes. This is crazy. You're making 90 bucks a day from one book that you found a hot niche in that I just share with you right now for free. This is what I'm talking about. So we have to change what we're looking to do. We have to change our mindset. We have to go after these this new economy. And it's it's just absolutely amazing. Okay, so here's the here's the big thing that I'm super excited about, okay? So, first time dad, right? 10,000 people in here fighting for this, this thing, right? Selling lots of crazy books, right? Watch this. Audible. These are where people buy um, the audio book. Now, I don't know about you, but me being a daddy... I ain't got no time to sit down and read no books. But I do have time in the car when I'm driving to or from, um, you know, whatever play date or whatever nursery thing or whatever to listen to an audiobook while my little dude or little girl is in the back seat playing with a toy or sleeping or whatever, right? I'm probably going to want the audiobook as opposed to the handheld book. Let me show you guys something that bl 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 blow my mind. Let's go into the computer and watch this. Okay. So we're in here looking at first time dad. Guys, look at this. There were 10,000 views on the, or 10,000 results on the other one. In first time dads and audiobooks, there are 28 books. 28 books. Now here comes the really mind blowing thing. And you guys can find this with any niche. You just got to do a little digging. 28 books, right? We're pregnant. First time dad. Okay. There's one, two, three. Three, look at these reviews, 102 ratings. These dudes are getting some reading. First time expecting that. This one wasn't even on. Look. Kevin Walker, eight ratings. This dude wasn't even on the other one. Kevin Walker. Are you on here, Kevin Walker? He's not even on page one here. He's not even on page one here. And he's selling audio books because there's nobody in the niche. This is crazy to me right here. Okay, look at this. First time dad, stuff you'll read. 36 ratings. People are reading this, expecting better. This is um, another one. 25 ratings. People are buying these audiobooks, and these audiobooks aren't even on the first page. They're moving. Expected father. Guys, dad's a B. Look at this. We are, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight results down. And we can't even find another expectant father book. It's expectant moms. Guys, it is time to look at new ways to make money. And they're sitting right here in front of us. This is just one of so many niches out there you guys could be looking for. And as you saw, it's like the audiobooks, it's like, okay, so I write a Kindle book. You know, I run some ads. I, I get it ranked or whatever. But here's where the real money is right here. Okay, making a $14, this is $3.95, making a $24 audiobook. Now, what you understand is that I'm just going to give you guys so much information because it's such a crazy time right now. You spent like 40% of every sale with Audible. Let's just say they sold a thousand books. Now, usually if you get a rating, like there are like four or five people who read the book who did leave a ranking. But so let's just say you sold 4,000, 5,000 books. Okay, because that's basically, let's let's go low. Let's say you sold 2,000 books, right? 2,000 books, it gets 40% of 24 95 I'm just doing the math in my head, just kind of a rough thing. 40%, let's just say 12 bucks to kind of be in there. 2,000 times 12, mm, that's roughly twenty dollars to $30,000 for my rather. Anyways, it's a lot of money on audiobooks. And he has a book in the Kindle store too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this stuff. But I just want to challenge you guys during this time. One or two things you're going to need to do, okay? One is you're going to have to really look at new ways to create income. That's number one. Number two, you're going to have to embrace the world of digital because viruses and outbreaks like this are making you look at new ways to provide for your family. I'm like so passionate about this because I was like, I will not allow this to happen to my family ever again. I am going all in on these digital process. I mean, last year we made 30 grand. This audiobook stuff and this KDB stuff, we're going to blow it out of the water because look, I mean, the numbers are just like, it's just mind blowing to me. I'm sorry I'm so passionate, but it's like we're at a time where we can't play around. Number one, you need to look at new, like I said, look at new ways to make money. Number two, embrace the digital. Number three, you're going to need to invest in yourself. You're going to need to pay for either a class, a course, a group, 
um, something to learn how to do this because it speeds up the process because we don't have time to mess around. Maybe you do, but the people out, out there like me who don't have time to mess around, this is for you. Um, I, I, I'm just like kind of blown away. This is a great place for you guys to start. Take a look at it. Um, try. So let me just kind of recap because I'm like, oh, so like amped up right now. Okay, so basically what you want to do is go to Amazon, click on books, right? I'm just going to click on books and then you want to type in whatever it is you're looking for. For instance, first time, whatever. Okay, first time, whatever your, your keyword is, Amazon will autofill for you. Start looking at the little tab, scroll down, click on the next one like that, it'll all populate a thousand first time manager. Okay, so a first time manager, then because you've installed Amazon DS Quick View, you're gonna look at the BSR rankings that come up, 18,000, 18,000. This one's loading still with Amazon Quick View 6,000. Might have just found another one for you guys, <laughs> 2,000. I mean, you see how easy this is? This is kind of crazy. First time manager, another one that just popped up that we could go to Audible. Let's see what we got over here, first time. I, I mean, this is really happening, first time manager let's see it didn't even come up here oh okay, yes there it goes first time manager there are there are four results on a first time manager and we just i mean i didn't look through the whole niche but it's like the result that you guys this stuff is so amazingly like available for you guys and open here's the thing that i want to make sure that so we're not like in some, some like you know oh my gosh it's so easy you do need to know how to get your cover designed. You do need to know how to um, have your book uh, narrated because you're going to go into ACX. You do need to know how to write an outline. There's, there are a few things that you need to know, and it's not like you just throw up a book, okay? You just suddenly you're making money. But this, to me, is... I mean, the first book is 20 bucks, So they're making 40% of that, roughly, uh, I don't know, $8 or whatever. Um, and they've, they've got 398 ratings. It's like you guys... And ladies and gentlemen, it's like, it's time. It is time. It is time. I hope this has helped you guys. Let me go through the thing again. So you, you just one more time, because I know I'm all over the place, but I, I'm really passionate about this. You type in whatever you want to type, you know, what you're looking for. You look at the, the BSR ranking. Then you come into M, to, um, Kindle QuickBook and you can see how many books they're selling. For instance, first time manager, 18,000. Let's try it again. Kindlepreneur is called. You type in Kindlepreneur calculator. You'll see it. Try it again. So we're, we're over here. We've got, let's see, what is it? 18,976. 18,976. Click there. They're selling 10 bucks a day. You write that book. So let's just say you're making 30 to 40 bucks a day from that book. Now, this is like you're not dealing with the returns. You're not dealing with... Um, shipping you're not dealing with anything amazon handles it all for you ladies and gentlemen this is why it's like this is crazy to me it's time it's time okay then you go to auto audio oh sorry audible and you type in the search over here and you see how many results return because you also want to make an audible or a, a, a an, an audiobook of your book now if you'd like for me to go a little further a little deeper in how to do that leave a comment below or click one of the downloads um that we have uh, available down below. It'll put you on my mailing list. Um, if this is something that will help you guys, I could start, you know, a group, make more videos. I don't know. We got to figure this out, but we've got to be ready to just really change our own lives at the end of the day. That's all I got for today. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that notifications bell. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video where we talk some more about KDP and ACX because this is crazy and it's time to get started in here. Let's get it started. <laughs> Let's get it started in here. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Peace. Make sure you leave a like. Talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.